Hey guys, proof of circle theorem is one of the trickier things in algebra. Here I work through loads of examples for you. Um, if you learn these examples, you should be really, really well set for your exam because there aren't much harder things they can ask you about circle theorem than this and circle theorem is one of the harder topics. In this video, I'm going to show you proof of five parts of circle theorem. We are going to prove that the angle at the centre of the circle is twice that at the circumference, that angles in alternate segments are equal, that angles in the same segments are equal, that the angle here at the circumference is 90 degrees, and the opposite angles in a cyclical quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. The first thing that I'm going to do is add in an extra line from the centre to B. Now we have three lines going from the centre to the circumference. We have a line at A, we have a line at B, and we have a line at C. So all the lines going from the centre to the circumference are equal. So what we have set up now are some isosceles triangles. Now we're going to look at the angles in the centre. I am going to say that the angle here, going from O, A to O to B, we are going to call that X. And then on the other side, from C to O to B, we are going to call that Y. Now we can look at the other angle this one here. And since we know that the angles in a circle have to add up to 360, we can say that that angle is 360 minus x minus y. Now because we have isosceles triangles here, we know what this angle is and we know what this short angle in here is. The angles in a triangle add up to 180. So the angle A and the angle B must be 180 minus X, those are the angles that we have left over. And because we need to divide that by 2, because the bottom angles in our isosceles triangle are going to be equal, we can say each of those angles here and here are equal to 180 minus X over 2. We can do the same for the other half. Because, again, we have an isosceles triangle, the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. We know the angle at B, O, C equals Y. It's 180 minus Y. Um, the rest gets divided by the other two. So that is going to be 180 minus Y divided by 2. So we know the angle going from A to B to O is equal to 180 minus X over 2. And we know the angle going from C to B to O equals 180 minus Y over 2. To get the angle going from A to B to C, we just add those together. So it's 180 minus X over 2 plus 180 minus Y over 2. If we tidy this up a little bit, 180 divided by 2 is 90. Um, X divided by 2 gives us half X plus 90 minus half y. Now we want to prove that this angle here is twice this angle here. So the angle um, AOC needs to equal twice the angle ABC. So the angle AOC is 360 minus x minus y. The angle ABC is 90 minus half x plus 90 minus half y. And we want two of those. Now if I just multiply out the brackets to check that that works. 2 times 90 is 180. 2 times minus half gives us minus x plus 180, 2 times minus half y gives us y, equaling 360 minus x minus y. So we have proved using algebra that the angle at the middle is twice that of the angle at the circumference. We are going to prove that 
this angle here is equal to this angle here. So first of all, I'm going to call this angle X. So the angle C, A, B equals X. Now because this line here is a radius and this line here is a tangent, we know that the angle D, D, A, B equals 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees in there. So from that, we can work out that the angle in here, the angle DAC, is going to equal 90 minus X. Now, we can know something else from another circle theorem. We know that the angle up here is a right angle. So that our angle DCA equals 90. Now we know that angles inside a triangle have to add up to 180. So here we have 180 minus 90 minus 90 minus x. And that is going to equal the angle at A, D, C. Multiply those brackets. 180 minus 90 minus 90 plus x equals A, D, C. 180 minus 90 minus 90 is 0, leaving us with X equals A, D, C. So we have this angle up here being X, which is the same as this angle down here, X. Prove that the angle is B at is 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is add in another line from the centre to B. Now we have three lines going from the centre to the circumference, so we know they're all equal. And what we've done again is set up some isosceles triangles. I'm going to call this bit X. So our angle AOB equals X. That bit Y. So our angle BOC equals y. Because they're on a straight line, it's a radius. We know that oops, x plus y equals 180. Because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So the angle at a and the angle at b must be 180 minus x. And because there's two of them, we can divide that by 2. We can do the same for the other triangle. So the angles must add up to 180. We know that angle O is Y. That has to be divided by the other two angles because it's an isosceles triangle, giving us 2. So now we know that this angle here at OBC is 180 minus Y over 2, and that this angle here at OAB is 180 minus X over 2. So we can say that our angle going A. B, C is equal to those two small parts put together. So that equals 180 minus X over 2 plus 180 minus Y over 2. If we tidy that up a bit, we have 90 minus half X plus 90 minus half Y, giving us 180 minus half X minus half y. Now we know from before that x plus y is um, 180, so we can say that a half x plus half y equals 90. Then we can say, if we're going to replace this bit here, um, with a half x plus a half y, we can first of all um, factorise it slightly, so we can put minus outside, so that becomes half x plus half y. We know that half x plus half y is um, 90. So 180 minus 90 equals 90 degrees. And that is the angle at B. Here we're going to prove that the angle in the same segments are equal. So we're going to call this angle in here x. So a o d equals x. And if the angle at the centre of the circle is x, it means each of the angles at the circumference has to be half of that. But 
because we've proved this earlier when I did this. Our last one here, we need to prove the opposite angles in a circular quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw lines from the centre to opposite angles. And it does not matter that this is not a straight line. So we can say that this angle here is x and this angle here is y. We know that x plus y equals 360 because it goes round in a full circle. We know that angles at the um, centre are twice that of the circumference. So we can say that this one here is half y and that one there is half x. Since we know that x plus y um, is 360, half x plus half y must equal 180. 